Okay, and I'm gonna give the first line to Chris. Sure. Uh, 歌詞に名前を教えたら、六斜めに歩いた。めっちゃもチェック、六。六、like、六斜め。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
signal comes up a lot. <laughs> tsk, tsk. Yeah. Okay, your turn, Chris. Sure. Uh, that's uh. Ue, shaku right? or b b uh, below oh, the yadoya. Shukuya? Yadoya? Okay. Well, uh, maybe it can be shukuda. Uh, let me double check. I, I think yadoya sounds right. I mean, to me. yadoya is what is in my my um yeah, dictionary. Definitely. Yeah, it's a it's a it has a kunyomi reading in a jukuro. Right. It's always confusing. Um anyways, uh Okay, I'm gonna double check aka aka, but I'd imagine it's oh, warm. reddish. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it is a bright red. Bright red. Mm -hmm. mm. So, um, so the um diner that we went to, which has a inn at the top, um, or rather on the top floor, um, had a um, bright red hearth or fire in a hearth, um, and just the uh, owner, of the establishment. Hi, and this right here is going to go to Cookie. Uh, yuba no tanomu. Uh, so um, I think it's yumeshi. I think, I think so too. Yumeshi. Oh, yushoku. Yushoku. Shoku. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yushoku. So oh many my God. How did I forget that? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, think, the, I think Yushoku made more sense. Uh, so, so yeah, what yeah, does Yushoku, yushoku tanomu. tanomu? That means, uh, I think Tanomu means to have fun or something. That's Tanoshimu. Tanoshimu, okay. But they're not related. Mm, okay, then I would not know what this one tanomu is. Tanomu is what you say when you want someone else to do something for you, like, handle this for me. Basically, I'm depending on you. Mm -hmm. Is kind of what it means. So okay. basically, uh, to request, he's saying, I'm requesting dinner. Mm, okay. <laughs> so dinner, please. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Majitsushi no nebori ga yubi o nippon tatte miru to shokumeshi no, uh, I forgot the reading for this. Shujin. Shujin. Ah, sorry, I got something in my face. Shujin wa unazuite chobo ah chobo ni hikonda. Um, so uh, the wizard Nemberi puts up two of his fingers, and um, the owner of the 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 rest the the diner he nods his head and goes back into where you know the kitchen is, yeah, in the diner. And the next line is Chris. Uh, I wanted to find out another reading. I believe Hi. that counter is a uh, Nihon, not Nippon. What? The, the uh, for, for two long things. Oh, for Nippon? his fingers. Yeah. Uh, Nihon. Yeah. Nihon? Nihon, that's a <laughs> double feature movie. <laughs> definitely. Oh, def definitely not that. <laughs> definitely not that. Yeah, he just, he just uh, you're two right. Things. It's Nihon, two long <laughs> Yeah, Nihon, you're right. I just, like, I just are the worst. Well, Nippon is Japan, so it makes know, sense why they would pronounce it differently, <laughs> so you mm -hmm, don't get confused. Mm -hmm. well, to be fair, Nippon is also Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Anyways, I'll read. Nebari wa sumi no table ni mukai. Ori o kabe o seni shite suarasu. Suarasu is to have sit down. Is it suaru? Yeah. Am I crazy? No, I'm it's, it's it sitting. Um, they're sitting at a um, location that mm, Kabeo okay. Seni. Okay, cool. So, um, and then Sumi is corner, yeah? Hi. Right. So, uh, Nebori uh, walked towards, or faced the table in the corner, and I sat in the, uh, with my back to the wall. Hey. Right. Um, koko kara dato nige yo toshitemo, mukai ni suwata nebore ni sugu tsukama tsukama So, um, if I was to try to, um, escape from here, um, the nebore who's sitting in front of me, 
he's just going to catch me instantly. And what does nobody say? Cookie, you got this very similar line last week. Okay. Satte, uh, gozo, gozo. That gozo. means like, gozo. Uh, gozo. Okay. <laughs> yep. So, I think it means, um, yeah. So, gozo means like little brat or something. Or, and then satte means, nah, did, I think we saw this before. I'm not just, sure if you've seen it before. It's kind of like, okay. Yeah. Satte. Well, it, yeah. It's not, well then. It's basically like a, like like how old people will say so. Wait, actually, I think that's how old people end. So it's like in English we do so. We go so boy, blah mm-hmm. blah 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 blah. It's just, just a okay, injunction. little brat. Okay, yeah. little brat. Blah 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 blah. It's just so it's not saying yes, but it's the injuncture. I don't know what the science yeah. word is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Interjected or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Chris, I'm going to Sure. Uh, never do. Uh, nobody said this uh, while taking off his hat. Perfect. Um, Perfect. So his eyes were black and his hair and beard were the, you know, grayish white. So it's like grizzled hair. Apparently that's what grizzled means. Is that gray height, gray white hair. Um, I think I'm gonna have um Cookie try this. Yeah, I can give it a try. Uh, nebari wa koi hairo no um, robu mo. And then I, f- I, what was, oh yeah, nuita. Earlier he right? nuita his boshi. What do you think nuita means? Uh, to take off. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So nebari. Um. Not sure what the kanji which goes koi. Uh, oh, it's a deep. It's like a, yeah, like a deep color. Oh, a deep color. So it's a deep brown. No, no, not a brown color. Sorry. Um, I forgot what haido was. It's a gray. I was going to say ashen color, but that's mm-hmm. not something normal people say. Yeah, but I mean, it makes sense. Um, yeah. So it's a deep gray color robe and yep. it took it off. Exactly. Also. Yep. Okay. Chris, on a to us. その下にはクロノズボンとビロードの襟のついた黒いブロックコートとやブロックコートと刺繍付きの黒のベストを着ていた。There's okay, a handful of words in here I don't know. Yeah, they're all about the clothes he's wearing. ビロード. Uh, uh, ビロード oh, is velvet. Huh. I know that one. Oh, wow, that is some beautiful kanji. Um, I'll definitely take a look at that later. I think the kanji um, never shows up though. I've always seen it in katakana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I can see why it's like, pretty intense. Uh Eddie is like color. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm still gonna save that in my folder for this. Let's say Takuro. Uh oh, I read that as Burok, but it's Hurok. What the hell is that? Hurok? I think I think it's like an old fashioned like waistcoat, frog uh, coat. Frock coat. I don't okay. know what that is. <laughs> Uh, you, you want to Google the it? I'm, I'm curious <laughs> what that looks like. Okay, let's. We can do that right now for everybody. See if I can. Okay. Yeah, just a old fashioned man. Wow, well, very coat. old fashioned. It's kind of Probably like a this trench one. coat almost. Kind of. Yeah. It almost looks like a robe. Like, yeah, I was not, it looks lot, like not a dress. Harry Potter robe, but like a, yeah. a bathrobe. Yeah, it does kind of look like a bathrobe. Like a. <laughs> A blazer, like blazer material bathrobe. Hi. Cool. Okay. Do, do, do. Uh, right. Uh, and then she should, uh That's some um, embroidery. Embroidery. I, yeah, I clicked that earlier. So. What, what there it is? Uh, what is the shoe in there? Oh, it's it's a uh... savvy. Okay. Cool. It's uh, it's or the she is uh, stabbing. The shoe is sewing. Um, so. Um, uh, under that, um, under that being under his robe, um, 
there were he was wearing black pants and um a velvet um collared black frock coat um and an embroidered black vest perfect yeah that's a lot of words <laughs> it's so many words <laughs> um dare mo chotto sorry dore mo chotto kuta biriteru um they're pretty uh worn down no like so num like they're worn down in all the ways super they're, they're pretty worn down okay and the next line is going to go to cookie um the start okay so it's where the orange line is right okay right. so i've never actually seen the reading for that kanji gashi gashi oh he wait mugashi, mugashi? mugashi? i couldn't read mugashi. Mm. oh mukashi okay yeah so mukashi wa mo um sukoshi um bit underneath i'm not sure what that is uh kanemochi it's like kane mochi. okay yeah so that he means to have lots of money or stuff or mm -hmm. to have money uh he that no daro um okay the ender is something that i would not be able to think about i would well, say it means he must have been yes or perhaps he was i think it's more like probably because he's basically looking at the clothes <laughs> And it looks like clothes that someone rich would have, but then has been wearing for a very long time. So, mukashi okane mochi desu ne. Because Khan okay. is a pickpocket, so this is something he'd be like, hmm. Mm -hmm. think about. And what does a mukashi at the beginning mean Mukashi again? means long ago. Oh, yeah, long ago. Yep, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And the most close is another important thing that we haven't discussed. Like, he was a little bit right yeah he wasn't like king oh. <laughs> so long ago he was probably already rich relatively mm -hmm. rich relatively. relatively rich yeah it's it, it's not the already more it's like again more I, I don't know how to really explain it uh, i would say the more, more a little the whole thing together right yeah well, more more a little bit more yeah mm -hmm. uh hi uh Nebody wa kinira no e no tuita tue o table ni tate ka kete kara tuita. So, um, nebody he um puts his uh staff, his, his cane that has a golden um handle and he um places it like leans it against the table and then he continues to talk. And what does he say, Chris? お前のような家なしの海にこんな寒い雨の夜はさぞつらかかろうあ、it's oh, that. Kind of um, I don't remember it. But I'm going to double check a さぞつらかさぞつらか Nothing? So that didn't pop up, but it's probably the karo confused it. Maybe, yeah. Okay, さぞ how about the sazzle? Oh, sazzle, uh, maybe. So sazzle is surely, and then tsura I think is tsurai. Oh, like hard. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense because I just said karo right here is for e adjectives. Yeah. So yeah, the e like adjective karo. has been dropped from yeah. the. So yeah. it even like has an example right here where it says, yeah, the e can be yeah. dropped oh, or not be dropped. It's like an opinion thing. It's like, mm -hmm. So they're right in the cuddle thing. <laughs> this is the, uh, they explain the whole thing. Huh. It's a good dictionary. It's got to read. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and then, yeah, and I see, I'd imagine is homeless. I wonder if there's a word in the dictionary for it. Nope. Probably no home. Yeah. So, um, the person... For a person like you with no home, um, a cold, rainy night like this must certainly be uh, tsurai, right? Difficult. Yes, perfect. That's definitely what it's saying. I have no doubts. Samui ame no yoru wa dare ni totte mo tsurai to omotta ga unazuite oita. I thought that um, on cold, um, rainy nights like this, 
that it would be hard for anybody, but I nodded anyway. Mm -hmm. Um and cookie, Angashimas. Nebari uh Oreo Mita. Um so so nobody um saw me or something. Nice. Yeah, so me. Mm. yeah. For interesting enough, you rarely ever see Mita as saw for some reason. Well, he yeah. looked at me. Yeah. Mita. Yeah, saw me. Yeah, I can't really think about what the nuances in English between mm. saw and look, but <laughs> weird. Yeah. It feels a little bit more I feel like it'd be direct. like Mita Ita if it was yeah, like saw. Yeah, it's like they saw me. Yeah, yeah. Saw feels a bit like uh, there's a length of time in it, and look feels yeah. like you do it in an instant. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and continue, uh, cookie. Okay. Ore mo mitsume, um, and then the bit at the end. It's a kaisu. 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 Oh. What? What's the reading? That is to um return. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought return would be something like modoru. Modoru is return. Uh, so yeah, there's three types one. of returns. There is kaeru, as in the return home. Yeah, return modoru, home. Modoru, mm -hmm. which is when a human being returns to a location. And kaeru, which mm -hmm. has a different kanji than that one, which basically means a thing returns. Uh, oh, for okay. example, a voice or something. And kaisu, I'm pretty sure, has the same kanji as this kaeru. Yeah, it's a transitive and transitive pair. Yeah. Wow. So kanji yeah. is useful for this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Kaisu mm. is like to give something back. Right here. There's this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you give me an object, I give it back to you. I kaisu that object. Yeah. Yeah. So a look at, so miru koto would be kaisu. Cause that's not a human being returning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it'd be a mitsumiru koto. Mitsumiru right. koto. I just, I just give him Miru because I know he knows Miru. I'm not sure if he knows Mitsume. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, Mitsume is like to stare. Yeah. So I like to make I like to make the mistake and then learn from it because it's more meaningful. <laughs> I, I think people tend to remember it better that way. A hundred percent. I hate making shame. mistakes. But it's like it's, it's so horrible it's that it's why you remember. You're always like, ah. it's not really. It's not really shame. It's like you know you made the mistake and you don't want to do it again. So. It yeah. it also yeah. gives you practice of trying to locate it in your brain. Like you're even if you do it wrong, your brain's still like, okay, we gotta we gotta work. Mm -hmm. This is where we're supposed to find it. That's right. Okay, so what does ore mo mi mi mitsume kaisu mean? So I think um hang on. So hmm. remember Nevody so... looked at me was the first line you did. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I also, uh, and then I just forgot because I was grabbing something from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so remember what Kaisu meant? Uh, yep, to return. Yeah. So nobody looked at him and I returned what? Um, it was something from back here. Well, oh, you there... return the stare. Yes. Or... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, return, return the, the stare. Look. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, meet okay. is to stare. Yep. So... Oh, so, yeah. okay. Yeah. Context can help. So mm -hmm. nobody yes, looked can. at me and I stared back at him, would be mm. um how you translate that nicely. <laughs> um Chris, I think I should ask. All right, I'll give this my best old man voice. Nimo kakawarazu pin pin steoruna. Nebody la. So, regardless, you're still very lively, aren't right. you? Um, Never said um, uh, almost as if to himself, or he whispered almost as if to himself. Um, yeah. Tsubayaku is a little bit more like muttering than whispering, like on right. that, on that, but they're similar, so. Yeah. And uh, since you said that's such a great voice, I'll make you do nobody okay, again. Thanks. I think it's a fun thing to point out that Steoru is a bit old manish. It's it's formal, but it, it comes across pretty old manish, I think. Old man. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Toku ni warui chikara o uketeru yo ni mo mien. So, um in particular, um 
Hmm. Well, it's negative at the end, so yeah. that's what makes it kind of hard. So I guess not particularly. Yeah, not for. This is weird. It looks like you didn't receive a bad power in particular. Yeah. So this. <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing. I'm not going to do so worry, you're supposed to be confused. Um, in the English version, it says basically like sick, basically, hmm. is kind of what it says. But they changed it in Japanese to be basically um, waru chikaro. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, I which I think they want to make it more fanciful, maybe. Or yeah, if we Google this, sense. it will actually pop up and be like a natural so, phrase. Who knows? Yeah, I have a guess. I don't know this story at all, but I'd imagine that when you get the stone, oh, sorry, my bad, Colin, that when you get the stone, maybe you receive a power, and the one that this that Khan received was maybe not a bad power. Sadly, uh, not. My guess. Um, it has to do with his his saying "nimo kakawazu bin bin stiru." When he said this, which is uh -huh. um, unlike what you'd expect, you're pretty healthy. Right. So the thing is, if he took the stone, he's supposed to receive bad power, as in like a curse. Oh, I see. That's what they say. He's like, "Huh, you weren't cursed when you took my magical rock." Oh, okay, that that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, chikara nan no koto da? What do you mean by what? What? What evil power? What? And cookie, onigashimasu. Mada, mada, mae o. Kite orana. So I think Mada in this case was already the opposite. Yeah. Say so it's like still. Not yet. Still. Yes. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet's good. Okay, so have you not yet listened to or heard my name? Uh, so the main I still character... haven't heard your name. Hi. So um he he said his name, remember? The earlier we left off last week with Yeah. Washi wa nebori. Uh -huh. uh, wa was what he said. He said, My name's Nebori, what's your name? Khan has been silent this whole time. He just, just give me listening food. to this old guy. Yeah. Yeah. And the old guy's been like blah 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 blah. But he still hasn't heard his name. So, mada namai o kite oru na. Um, grammarly, yeah. I think theoretically it could be you haven't heard my name, but we know it's not that by yeah. context. Yeah. He may even be saying, I haven't asked your name. Or no, yeah. he has asked his name. What um, am I so, he said, so, so something yeah. I've noticed, o is normally to hear and ni is normally to ask. So the my ni kite oruna would be oh I haven't asked I haven't your asked name yet. You. I I've that noticed that from the Magic Treehouse that ni yeah, but, that ni tends. I'll keep an eye out for that. It's not always yeah, have... you know there's always exceptions but I feel like if Definitely. you had a guess that yeah. that tends to help. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for that. And um, your turn, Chris. Sure. So you are not Gomakasu. Uh, I'm double check the meaning of. Should be like to deceive. Yeah, that's what I was. To thinking. manipulate, I guess. he's dodging the oh, question. It, it can be to evade, evade a yeah. question. Yeah, I because I have the definition to deceive in my head. I have um, it in but... the I have it in the Anki deck that way too, but it's definitely to dodge a question. Yeah, it's context <laughs> is important here. So, um, even though he said that, I have uh, no intention of telling him. So I, uh, is to shrug. Yep. Do I have that right? Okay, cool. Yep. I, I shrugged my shoulders and dodged the question. Perfect. Cool. And then did you want to stop here? It's a little yeah. past a half hour. I, I really want to continue because I love the book, but I, I really too. should get stuff done. It's yeah. so much fun. But we'll be seeing each other tomorrow. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe we can do a little a, bit longer. I have to There's have another session tomorrow. I, I wasn't aware of this. Uh, we're doing it every day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. And it's 30 <laughs> minutes every day? Basically, um, some, some days will be one hour. We're kind of basically going to be like, hey, how long do we want to do it today? It's kind of how the chat's going. Yeah. And it's always so, at the same time? Yeah, it's either at it's yeah 12 p.m. You're, it's basically, it's either at 12 p.m. or at 12.30 p.m. for you. Or at 12.30. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, Mark actually, that on your calendar. Every day. Yeah, your 30 minute difference is pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe actually I think I think most days I'll be able to do 15 minutes after the hour. So we might just plan at 7 15. Yeah. I'll and I'll make sure to like room. Yeah. I'll make sure to like um like cookie if you have anything that like makes it so that you have like you wouldn't be able to make a certain time that definitely let us know. Yeah. Cuz cuz we can use that as our jumping off mark. Definitely. But yeah, I, I like, I like to... today I was like, I just want to do it half an hour because I'm busy. So huh? that's sure. what I yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> and most most days I'll probably be pretty busy with school. Mess. I, w- I went in depth on on what my schedule looks like. Mm. But um, yeah, it's fine. But it's just like um, it, it's just that the time zones are different. It's I know. the middle of the day. And then if it's the week, if it's the weekday, it'll be like, oh, I have things to do. Sure. Totally. Yeah. 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 You can just I, I probably. Oh, go ahead. You, I said you can definitely miss some lessons. We will summarize what you missed and things like that. Always can yeah, also rewatch I mean, videos. Yeah, I could do that as well. So um, maybe I'll only be able to make it on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then that'll be it. Okay. Totally. Well, yeah, well, yeah. I yeah. think Cookie, I might be seeing you tonight at not uh, in a couple of hours too. There's, Wait, what's what for? I think the N three. Uh, there's a one at nine p.m. today, so it's seven right now, seven thirty. So I got to do the math. Hour and a half later. <laughs> one one third. One like and a half my hours brain's later. On. So yeah. there's if, there should if, be an event for it on Discord, right? It, it there is an event for it. Wait, what what is happening at nine p.m. your time? So, so right, so this club right here is for the magic disappears. Um, I'm gonna be reading multiple different books for this club, where we're basically gonna read the first chapter of Percy Jackson Dial of Ghost Magic. Sandry's book, Trickster's Choice, or in the Ranger's Apprentice. And then everybody in this club is going to vote for which book they'd prefer. Um, I think this is kind of an order of easiest to hardest, so probably not Ranger's Apprentice. But we might do Percy Jackson, because most people gen- entering it sounds like they're not at N3 level. Yeah. But we'll, okay, we'll see so how it goes. And how long is the meeting going to go for? Probably an hour, but you can always pop in for a half an hour. It's fine. An hour, yeah. yeah, because I have something to do at three thirty p.m. my time, which I'm I need to convert that into PDT. Um, so that thing is going to finish at two o'clock. I yes. know uh, that thing is going to start at two o'clock p.m. Is it? If it's uh, one, so... if it's if it's twelve thirty where you are right now, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So um, it's gonna. So one thirty is the one. You're right. Starting at two o'clock. You did math, right? Yeah, yeah. So if I'm there for an hour, yeah, I just have something to do at three thirty. I'll have a. Uh, 30 minute break i guess but thank you very much Molly. Yeah, if not I'm you can so always sorry about pop this. off early and be like i'll, I'll be back later <laughs> is, is also a possibility because there's there's nothing wrong with popping in for a half an hour because literally we're going to be reading one page of each of these so wow. you could just do the first page of these two who knows how far we'll get in either it's possible mm-hmm. we'll be very slow and just get like one page done so you never mm-hmm. know how things go we'll see um, we'll see we'll yeah. see but yeah thanks again and I'll see you in half um, in one and a half hours yeah. time. Yeah. Well, while, while I still have you guys tomorrow, do you want to meet for an hour? That should work for me. What day is today? That. Yeah. That works good for me. That's Sunday okay. for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. today, today is Friday for me. Wow. And it's oh and, and it's seven p.m. So it makes sense when you think about it that way because it's noon. Yeah. Mm. We got that like large hour difference. Mm-hmm. I wonder if anyone else is from the eastern half of the world. I think that's pretty common. I've definitely seen like there's one person that wanted to join the N three readers, but they're like, "That's five a.m. where I live." Yeah, I wonder, yeah. I wonder what time zone they're in. <laughs> they, they, yeah, it'd be kind of interesting to see it. what time zones they're. I in. bet they're in England. That's my guess. Oh, that's a good guess. Yeah. 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 By the way, Money, I've noticed that you write PST and I say PDT. Do Do you know why I say PDT? Because that's PST? the correct one. Yeah, it's daylight. Time. It, it it switches PDT and PST. Um, it's not like we're taught this. So I just always did PT, PST because yeah, the name switches yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I went through and did both. And, I see. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, I've been writing so Seattle like the... time now, so I'm just like just set just input Seattle to yeah <laughs> to definitely. whatever program you use. Yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah, it's just like. PST is technically not our time zone right now, <laughs> you know, 
yeah so I, I just wanted to make sure it, that like, yeah. you were aware I, I know that's why I've been I, I so I started doing the the, the two yeah, definitely but yeah just, wow. I, I'm, I miss I miss going to a, a place called Western Australia because there's no there's no time zone there so nice. What? Oh no, no, no! It's like there's no daylight time there. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say you have no time. There's no. Clock I said it wrong. Yeah. I heard like a rumor that time. Australia has like weird time zones. That I don't know if it's true. Yeah, the Northern Territory, uh, which is directly above South Australia, is thirty minutes behind. What the <laughs> that's, hell? That's so yeah. Never heard of that. Yeah. I've that heard is... of some places like Saskatchewan apparently has like in Canada has like uh they, they constantly do daylight time. Yeah. Or daylight saving time. They don't change the from other, that. Yeah. The other thing is Queensland, which is the northeastern state of Australia, mm-hmm. um, does not have daylight time. So that means all in standard time, uh the eastern third of Australia mm-hmm. uh is like uh, two hours ahead of WA, but then when daylight time comes, 